Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure the new Binance Grid Bot that they just released on their USDM Futures platform. And not only will I be configuring the bot, I'll be deploying the bot, and I will follow up with an update video in the near future to show you how the bot is actually performing. So now would be an excellent time to shoot that subscribe button. And if you're not familiar with grid bot trading, the way it works, when you configure your bot, you place limit orders, basically buy and sell limit orders. And it will buy on the way down at a lower price than market and sell on the way up at a higher price than what the market was at. And so each green or red line is the grid and those would be your sell or buy orders and once the price action reaches that level a limit order will be placed whether it's to sell after you bought and again the idea is to buy low sell high on the way up so let's get to the actual configuration of one of these bots. now binance does offer some documentation on how to configure your grid bot and i will leave a link to this documentation in the description down below as I might not actually go over every little line item when we're setting up this bot. So let's jump over to the Binance Exchange. And once you log in, where you actually need to go is to the Derivatives tab up on the top toolbar and the USDM Futures. You click on that and that will take you to the trading panel for their USDM Futures. And you can see I actually do already have a grid bot configured on BTC USDT and so far the bot has completed one order for profit on a move up and it recently just executed a short order on this current position and something to note when you do have a bot actually up and running as you see this alert up here at the top that any manual trading and any canceling of orders or closing of positions will terminate the grid strategy so I can't actually trade now BTC USDT while this bot is running. So with that all being said, let's see if we can configure a new grid bot. And to find the configuration, you just come over here to the top of the right hand corner of your trading panel and you'll see grid trading and you click on grid trading and that will take you to the dashboard for configuring a new bot. And in this case, you can see grid setup. An active grid which is the bot I currently have running and then history will show you the history which there is no history because I haven't actually terminated that bot at this time it's still up alive and running now when we jump back over to grid setup the first thing you need to do is pick your pair you want to trade now since I have BTC USDT already running I'm going to actually trade another pair and you'll see there is a extensive list of tokens that you can actually trade. But for this particular demonstration, I'm going to choose ETH USDT. And as far as margin goes, I have a choice to either isolate the margin strictly to this bot or share the margin across the two different bots. Now the BTC grid bot I deployed, I chose isolated. And so for this bot, I will also choose isolated. And so my margin will only apply to this particular contract. And so I click confirm. And now that's been isolated. The next option is to adjust the leverage amount. And much like the Bitcoin bot, I'm going to adjust this leverage to 9x and click confirm. Now, before we get too much further into the weeds, I want to stress now trading with leverage is extremely risky. And this video is intended as educational purposes only on how to configure the Binance grid bot. And it is not intended as a how to copy my strategy. I understand that the total balance I allow this bot to trade with is at risk and there is the opportunity I will lose everything. And with that all being said, you need to do your own recon and you need to decide whether or not to deploy one of these bots on your own, not based on my strategy. So with that out of the way, let's continue. 
So now I need to determine a lower price for the grid and an upper price of the grid. And how I do that is I just guess and throw darts at a dartboard. But in all seriousness, I'm going to look at a chart. And unfortunately, Binance doesn't give you a chart. So they must just expect you to guess at an upper and a lower limit. But I will jump over to TradingView, which is my charting software, and I will do some recon and determine where I want to place my lower and upper limit. So let's take a look at that chart. All right, so now I'm at TradingView and I can see an actual chart and price action for Ethereum on Binance. And you can use whatever time frame you want, but I'm going to use the one hour chart. And so if I drop in resistance and support lines i can see we hit some new highs just recently within the last couple hours of about twelve hundred dollars and i can see that we sold off and bounced off of around the 890 and then moved somewhat sideways until this recent run up so in theory are we ready to see another move back down into say the thousand dollar range and so I can move this line up perhaps to the $1,000 range and see support there and then trade within that range until the next move up. And now something to consider is with the Binance Grid bot, if the price action moves outside of your range, the bot stops. It does not continue to trade. It's done. Unlike Bitscap, the Grid bots that I configure over there have a trailing option. And if you haven't seen those videos, you can check out my playlist. Uh, under Bitscap or Gridbots, and their trailing option will actually follow the price up and continue to trade and rebuild the grid around that price action. Binance does not have that feature, and so I don't necessarily want to have my spacing too tight. So I would drop my lower level down beyond the 890. I'm probably closer to around 800, which I already have a line drawn in there from a previous chart so that must be some form of probably resistance and i would look for it to be now support since it clearly broke through that resistance and then for my upper level again i don't want to be too tight and so i would raise this up to around the fourteen hundred dollar level and that, in theory, should give the bot plenty of room to move and make trades. So my lower level will be 800. My upper level will be 1400. So let's go lower level 800, upper 1400. And then next, I have a choice of the mode. And that basically will define the difference between the grids, whether the difference between the grid is based on price or a ratio. The first option will be an equal price between difference. The second option is each grid has equal price ratio differences, as in percentages. So I prefer to go with the geometric or the second option. Now, next is grids. I can actually set up anywhere from 2 to 149 grids. That is an outstanding range of grids. They did, the, they did their job right as far as giving you enough options there. And so in this case, I'm going to start with 40. And then by putting in the number of grids, I can see approximately the profit per grid. And that actually includes fees. So it should be a profit of 1.37% per grid. Now I want to tighten that up a little. So I'm going to fill in some more grids. Let's go for 70. And now I have 70 grids that will be populated between the 800 and the $1,400 level. And that would give me approximately a profit per grid of 0.76%. That I'm comfortable with. So we'll move on to the next option, which is the amount of margin I want to use. Now I have available $385 a USDT. And now I can either use the slider bar to increase my margin. And you'll notice that the create button isn't available until I get to the quantity order minimum that Binance would require for this bot to be deployed. And so we'll crank this up to, let's say, 30%. And at 30%, my quantity order amount would be 0.013 ETH, and my total investment would be $1,000. And so now the next step is create, or I have a couple advanced options I can choose from. The grid trigger is a is the price I could actually choose 
to start the bot at let's say i want eth to sell off a little before i deploy the bot let's say i want it to sell off to eleven hundred dollars and then i want the bot to deploy so then i could put in eleven hundred dollars and then the grid orders will be triggered when mark price falls below or the trigger price you enter and so it would start once the price action has pulled back to this eleven hundred dollar figure now i leave that blank i'll just when i hit create I deploy the bot I want it to start right away and then the stop trigger is basically my top price stop loss and my bottom price stop loss and so I can deploy stop loss on this bot as well which will then cancel all orders on the stop and I can also choose close all positions on the stop which is what I would actually want it to do and for the stop loss top price I'm going to go just above the top price so I'll go 1500 and then for the bottom price, I'll go 700. And so now the bot has been configured. The last thing to do is to shoot the create button. And it will just give me a summary of the configuration. And I click confirm. And grid created successfully. So now when we go under my active grids, you'll see I have two active grid bots running now. And I can come over here and I can actually adjust the margin on either one of the bots and i would just type in the amount i wanted to adjust i could terminate either bot or i can view the configuration basically and see how my bot's doing this is the eth bot we just deployed we've already got a little bit of unrealized profit and i currently have 10 orders in place two have been completed one was actually a short sell and then it turned around and bought and actually ended up with some profit because the price went down enough to get profit and this bot does both short and long positions so again you need to consider the risk as this style of grid bot can be extremely high risk now if we jump back over to the trading panel on binance and looking at the chart for the btc usd grid bot each green line represents a buy grid each red line represents a sell. So as it moves up, it will sell. As it moves down, it will buy BTC. Now, I need to do a little more recon, but it appears if I don't hold BTC as it moves up, it will actually short that position, which has actually worked out for me on this move here. However, I do need to do some more recon, and I'll have an updated video in the near future on what I find out and how both the BTC and the ETH bots are performing. So, with that all being said, now would be the perfect time to shoot that subscribe button. And if you like this video, do me a favor, spike the like. If you have any comments or questions, leave those in the comment section down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.